over in the corner of the airport and I saw a black man who was a Muslim reading the Quran. So I walked over to this Muslim brother who was reading the Quran and when he looked up I extended my hand to him. I said, sir, what is your name? He said, my name is Yusuf Nuri Muhammad. I said, well, my name is Johnny James Jesus. I said, I noticed you're reading your book, the Quran. And I had a little small Bible just like this, only it was black. I took my little black Bible and I laid it right on top of his Quran. And I said to the Muslim, my book is better than your book. I said, my book is better than your book. Now, if you know anything about Muslims, you know they don't play that. <laughs> he stood up. I didn't know he was that size. <laughs> he was tall like tree and black like bear. He had muscles everywhere. I said, sit down, brother. It's going to be all right, brother Yusuf Nuri Muhammad. I said, but my book is better than your book. I said, read in your book the sixth surah, verse 1. The Quran calls the chapter surahs. It has 114 surahs. The Quran calls the verses ayahs. It has about 6,339 ayahs. I said, read the sixth surah. Verse 1, he was fumbling and he took too long. I got nervous, so I said, look man, it says, all praise be unto Allah, the creator of the heaven and the earth. When he found it, he said, that's what it says. I said, I know that's what it says. That's your book. I say, but my book said, in Genesis 1 and 1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. <laughs> He said, ain't that the same thing? I said, no, man. Your book said Allah. Mine said God. I said, don't you know that Allah came out of heathenism? Allah was the name of the pagan moon god. Why do you think the Islamic flag has a moon slice and a star? Because they worship the sun, moon, and stars, and Islam was founded on that principle, and Allah was the pagan moon god, and God told Israel in the fourth chapter of Deuteronomy, verse 32, don't worship the sun, moon, or stars. I say, your book, your book, your book has a false name for God. But I said, my book is better than your book. <laughs> and in my book, it said in Genesis 1 and 1, in the beginning, God. And I said, God is from the word or the noun in the Hebrew, Elohim. <laughs> El is the strong one. And Elohim is the strong one that created. I said to the Muslim brother, read in your book, the 19th surah, Verse 66, he turned to the 19th surah, and before he could read verse 66, I jumped the gun, and I beat him to the punch, and I quoted it for him. The prophet Muhammad says, when I am dead and buried in the ground and go back to dust, is that all, or what's going to happen to me? I said, but my book said, now remember, I said, my book's better than your book. My book said, in Job 14, 14, if a man die, shall he live again? He said, that's the same question. I said, I know it is. But your book asked the question, and your book never gave no answer. My book don't start nothing that it don't finish. If my book started, my book will finish it. <laughs> the question was asked in 1520 B.C. And 1,533 years later, the question was answered by Jesus in St. John 11:25. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live again. I told the Muslim, I say, read in your book the third surah, verse 144. He took so long, I had to jump the gun again. The third surah, verse 144, the prophet Muhammad is speaking again and he says I am only a messenger of Allah and nothing more I said but in my book 
Jesus said in John 14 and 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I said, read in your book, the fourth surah, verse 3. He turned to the fourth surah, verse 3, and he was so slow, had to jump the gun again. It said, men, marry as many women as you like, one, two, three, or four. I said, man, your book says a man can have four wives. I said, but my book said in 1 Corinthians 7 and 2, to avoid fornication, that every man have his own wife. Brothers, you don't need but one wife, and you'll do good to take care of her. You'll do good to love her, and keep her, and nourish her, and cherish her. And I took him back and forth, back and forth, as long as it was fun, but finally it wasn't no more fun. The Quran, the Bible, the Quran, the Bible, showing him the superiority of the Bible over the Quran. So I got to finish him off. I said, turn to the third surah, verse 105 and 106. He took all day, but he found it, and I let him read it. <laughs> and this black Muslim, not a, not a follower of Farrakhan, but an orthodox Muslim, read in his Quran, the third surah, verse 105, in the great and final day of redemption, only white faces will be saved, and all blackened faces will be condemned. And I said to him, have you looked in the mirror lately? I said, you just read it in your book. I said, brother, what is your problem? You belong to a religion, and your own book says you can't be saved. I wouldn't belong to a religion if my book said I couldn't be saved. <laughs> but I said, be encouraged. Be uplifted. I have for you a most marvelous, competent, encouraging and gospel announcement my book said in Galatians 3 and 28 there is neither Jew nor Greek there is neither bond nor free there is neither male nor female we are all one in Christ Jesus I said I showed you already my book is better than your book my name is better than your name, and my man is better than your man. I said, do you know Muhammad? He said, no, fool, he's dead. I said, you made the point. You don't know Muhammad because he's dead, but I know Jesus because he lives. He lives. <laughs> to shorten the long story, Yusuf knew Muhammad. Don't like nobody to call him that no more. He likes you to call him Brother Charles David Johnson Jesus. <laughs> Baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Spirit. <laughs>